Good evening, guys. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Just waiting for everyone to come in. Wait, my IT support just got the TV working. Oh, no, IT support hasn't got the TV working. Okay, let's get started, guys. Sit up. Come in. Take off. Raise your right hand and recite the tenets. Shijop, courtesy, integrity, perseverance, self-control, indomitable spirit. And recite the student note. Kisop, I shall observe the tenets of Taekwondo. I shall respect the instructor and seniors. I shall never misuse Taekwondo. I shall be a champion of freedom and justice. I shall build a more peaceful world. Bottom. Okay, a couple of you I may not have seen since uh, I discovered I was going to be able to do this. So a little bit of an update for you. For those of you who are in particular of Yellow Belt and Above, where we I didn't do the grading for you last round, uh, I am, I've got permission from my instructor and some instructions for my instructor about how to do Zoom gradings if we need to for Yellow Belts and Above. So uh, I'm looking to set a date probably in about three or four weeks time. And we'll have a grading for yellow belts and above over Zoom. If we're still in Zoom, if by some miracle we're back in the Dojang, then we'll have it in the Dojang. So in any case, there will be a grading available for those of you who haven't had the opportunity to grade yet uh, and details us come. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the grading will cover off pretty much everything that we do. Uh, and if you have got access to a partner, then I'll get you to work with your partner for the grading. Many of you haven't got an access to a partner, so you'll do most of the material alone, right? So you'll be doing your step sparring by yourself. You might be doing free sparring drills and demonstrating the free sparring drills we've been practicing over the last few weeks. Uh, if you've got self-defense in your syllabus, then you'll be demonstrating self-defense. But for that part, I'll ask you to get mum or dad or someone to come and help you. Okay, so you'll have to defend against the grads from mum and mum or dad or, or a, an older sibling. So... Uh, keep in mind that over the next few weeks, I'll be asking you to arrange someone from home to work with you for about five or 10 minutes of each class to grab you and throttle you around a little bit so you can release. Okay, thanks guys, release. Uh, sorry, I'm rotating wrists. Let's get started. Change direction. Gethin, it's cool to see you. Nice. Elbows. Oh, we've got such a good bunch of regulars now, guys. It's really cool to see you each class. Change direction. And arms back. Gethin, you dropped off. What just happened there? I was so excited to see you and then your camera stopped working. Arms forwards. And torso. Of course, to be eligible for the grading, you'll have to be training regularly. So make sure you're here at our Zoom classes regularly, at least once a week, probably twice at least. For most of you, change direction. And we've got some of you guys that are training three and four times a week while we're on Zoom. That is awesome. I love seeing lots of you guys. Change foot. Change direction. Hands on knees, squatting down and going back and down and back, and down and back, and down and back, and down and back. And circling your legs outwards. 
We're going to start today with some work on the free sparring footwork and free sparring drills we've been working on. Then we'll do some uh, pattern stuff. And then we'll do some step sparring. And at the end, if we've got time, hopefully, well, I'll make sure we've got time, we'll do some self-defense for somebody from home. Work on some of the different self-defense movements. And hips. Change direction. Cool, okay. That's uh, where I checks. There we go, cool. One foot forward and one foot back, hands up by your brain. Let's just start with our stepping first, our footwork for sparring. Remember, if you're moving forward, I'll show you sideways. I use my back leg to push myself forward. If I'm going backwards, I use my front leg and push myself backwards. Okay, so from here, forward, forward, back, back. When I go forward, I can jab with my front hand, go forward and jab, and forward and jab, and I can do that backward as well, using your front hand. Jab on your way back, jab on your way back. When we switch stance, just change your feet as quickly as you can. Change. Somebody else coming in. Okay, go forward, forward, back, back, forward and jab, forward and jab, back and jab, back and jab. Nice and simple, go switch. Now from here, moving sideways, if we're going that way, which is my left, I move my left foot first, and then my right foot, left, right. If I want to go to the right, I go right, left, right, left. It doesn't matter which foot's forward. So if I change and I want to go left, I go left, right, left, right. If I want to go right, I go right, left, right, left. So try that. Go left, right, right, left, switch. Try and maintain your half facing position. Don't get too full facing because it's a big target here. Be a small target. Right, right. Left, left, there we go, good, okay. Now, next defensive movement from here, step off, open, close up and punch with your back hand. So we go, block, punch. Use your front hand, just imagine someone's coming in with a side kick. You block that side kick away with your front hand as you step off to the side and then punch to the head with your other hand. Ready, go, block, punch. Block, punch. Block, punch. Remember to keep that back hand up by your brain. Back hand by your brain, front hand out. Block, punch. And switch. Block, punch. Block, punch. Block, punch. Block, punch. Block, punch. Good, nice. Keep side on. I'm blocking with my front hand, punching with my back hand. Now let's go, block punch. Switch, block punch, and back. Block punch, and back. Cool, okay. Fourth one, when we switch stance, the hand that's by our brain, drop that down and block the side kick. So from here, switch and block and then punch with the back hand and come back. Switch and block, punch and back. Switch and block, punch and back. Switch and block, punch and back. Remember when you punch, your other hand comes to guard your brain. Don't punch like this and leave this hand down because you're not protected. Punch this way. Switch and block, punch and back. Switch and block, punch and back. Okay, let's start mixing those up, up a little bit. Forward and punch. Switch and punch. Back and punch. Switch and punch. Step and punch. Or sideways punch. Forward and punch. Switch and punch. Sideways punch. Back and punch, 
sideways punch, forward and punch, back and punch. Good, awesome, and relax for a bit. Cool, okay. The other little drills we're gonna play with today are the drills that we use that use our side kick. So we can use our side kick from here, lifting up. Remember, we lift and stamp with our side kick. Lift and stamp, okay? Usually our target for side kick when we're free sparring is only just above the belt because it's a hard part to block. If I try and kick around this area here, that's where the hands usually are and you often kick to the hands. So you can sometimes try and kick to the head. That's really cool, good points for that. But it's much slower and easier to see coming. It's really fast to go just underneath the elbow here, which is why we often spar with this hand down trying to create some blocking space, a uh, blocking tool here. So from here, lift that front leg and stamp with your side kick and then down. Okay, now, when I do this front leg side kick, quite often, I'll take my momentum kicking this way. The foot that's on the ground might shift forward a bit. Okay, if I'm this far away and I'm already in kicking range, my opponent's gonna to wanna to move away. So I've gotta cover some distance. So I'll try and use my power to go forward and let my other foot come forward a bit. After I kick, space back into my stance. So from here, together back, back into my stance. Okay, get ready, get ready. Front leg side kick, go. The front leg is much faster than the back leg. Go. And you're not opening your body up, go. Grandmaster Land from Germany, who's a very good free sparring coach, one of the world's best free sparring coaches, he used to say, don't know what to do, yop chagi. Means when you're free sparring, when you're sure, oh, what am I gonna do next? Boom. Pop out that yop chagi, use your front leg psychic, just to feel out what your partner will do, just to get a feel for what they're gonna, how they're gonna react, to see what they do. So from here, ready, yop chagi. Yop chagi, front leg psychic. Now try, watch, watch for a moment. Try not to do this. Because as soon as I do this, my partner, my opponent will see me move and they're going to react. So the first thing I wanna do is this. I wanna lift this leg and kick. That momentum is how I move forward. I don't step forward and kick. I kick and shift forward. Go, try a few of those. Lift and kick. Lift and kick. Good, Aaron, that's it. Try the other leg. Lift and kick. Lift and kick. Lift and kick. Keep your guard up. Make sure that back hand is by your brain. The front hand, you can create space a little bit. My back hand stays by my brain. All the way through the kick. Go. Load and step. Load and step. Don't just lift your leg up and float it out like this. You gotta lift it bent and stamp it out. Good, Franz, that's it. Keep that back hand by your brain though, Franz. That's it. Come on, Tamisha. You don't get better without practice. <laughs> Good, you're all pivoting the supporting foot very well. That's excellent. That supporting foot points away from the kick. Very good. Awesome, come on, Toby, that's it. Lift that leg up, Toby, there. Keep, keep bell tight. That's better. Okay, and command. So that's using the side piercing kick offensively. So my opponent and I are bouncing around and I go, attack, boom, where's my yacht chain? Okay, your tag is also very useful when your opponent comes in towards you. So they're rushing and I use it defensively. So I'll turn my other foot, lean away from my opponent, yop chagi, and then get my balance back. I'm creating a lot of space when I do this. From here, yop chagi. Cool, try that. Fade away side kick, we call this quite often. Just kicking your belt height. At the time I'm kicking, I'm actually falling over. Watch. 
I'm falling. Ah! And then I'm using my feet to get my balance. Go. Yop, Chaggy. Step, step. Make sure you extend your kick out. Get that good stamp and play. Remember to breathe. And try the other direction. Using the other leg. Try using the other leg. After you kick, turn and face your opponent again. Keeping your hands up. Start nice and close, Toby. Start really close to the pad. And then you lean away, kick, and step. Okay, come on. Watch this way for a moment. One other key thing with this kick is with all of our kicks, Lift your knee and your foot here. Don't try and do this kick like this. Because your opponent can come over the top of you and punch. Lift your knee, create it as a barrier. Lift. And then kick and step. Go. Lift the knee and foot. Okay, and come on. We're just gonna apply a couple of those now. When I come in with my yop chagi, you're gonna go step eye punch, block step punch, okay? Or when I come with my yop chagi, you can go switch punch. One of those two. When I come with my yop chagi, you can go step punch or switch punch. If I run in towards you, then you're going to do your fade away side kick. Okay, so if you see me run in and punch, you do your fade, fade away side kick. If I drop my hands, you're going to shift in and jab. Okay, if I open my hands like this, so dropping my hands, shift in and punch. Open my hands, lift in your front leg side kick. If I open my hands, Lift and kick. Okay, so once more. If I do my yop chagi, block punch. If I run in and punch, <laughs> you'll fade away yop chagi. You fade away kick. If I drop my hands, shift them and punch. If I open my hands, psych it, front me. Everyone understand? Let's get ready. You can switch your stance whenever you like. Be moving around. Be nice and light. Let's go. Light moving around. Go. Oh, is that fade away side kick? Too many of you got a punch in the face there. That's not so good. Block and punch. Side kick, you want to block and punch. Okay, cool. I'm open. Where's the side kick? There we go. Good. And my hands are down. Shift and punch. Good, okay, just with the front hand and front foot. Front hand, just shifting in. Okay, ready? Where's the side kick? Hands are open. Gotta be fast. Where's that punch? My hands drop down, you gotta punch. Good, okay. Block and, block and punch, that's it, good, good. Okay, and... Fade away side kick, good. Some of you are getting it, that's cool. If I switch stance, I want you to switch stance as well. Where's that fade away side kick? Lift it up, Toby. Don't you be kicking me in the knees, young man. You gotta kick me just above the belt. Above the belt. 
Oh, is that fadeaway sidekick? Get your guard up. Don't let that guard get sloppy. Otherwise, I'll punch you in the face. Oh, where's the punch? Where's the punch? Hands down. Shift and punch. There we go. Good. Hands are open. Yes, you're Jaggy. Good friends. That was nice and quick. Switch. Was punch. Was the up chaggy? Fade away up chaggy. Punch. Front hand, front hand. You're up chaggy, good. Good, Julia, not nice. Now you're getting it. Good stuff. That's good. Nice. Good, Mason. That's it. Good, Aaron. Nice, man. In. Gotta be fast. I'm gonna bring him up again straight away now. You gotta be, gotta kick, gotta punch before my hands come back up. There we go. My body's open. Hands still protected, still protected. That's it. Good. And come on. Okay. Good work, guys. Grab yourself a drink of water. Okay, now we're gonna work through patterns and then do step sparring. We've got grades all the way up to, yet to green stripe here. So we'll do four direction punch, four direction block, chonji, dangun, and dosan. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spotlight you guys and see how you're going. First up, I think we'll have to be uh, Mason on your feet, young man. Okay, and let's see how Tangaroa is going. Okay, ready. Four direction punch. Everybody do this. Everybody, I'm going to be watching everyone for feedback. Jack's on your feet. Come on, Aaron. Four direction punch. Should be right side. Everybody hold up your right hand. Come on, Mikaela. You should be in there too. Good stuff. Okay, so that's the foot that's going to move. Stand back beside your brother, Mikaela. Ready, right side, four direction punch. She jump. Good, Mason, looking good. And bottle. Uh, hold that last movement, Mikaere, until I call you to return. Get back to your place, Mikaere. Left side, four direction punch. Ready. Yes, hook. Other foot, make at it. Other foot, make at it. Good. Mason, we just need longer stances. Tongue at all, you should have trusted yourself and started co copying Mikaeta, and he was getting it wrong. And bottle. Stop. Okay, let's have a look at Jax. Uh, and Julian. Well, actually, no, it's time I'm going to look at Jax and keep Mason on. Mason, you're on as well. Okay, ready. Four direction block. Four direction block, right side. Remember your right foot's gonna move. Ready. She jump. Good Jax. Good Mason. Bigger stances, Mason. Watch your walking stances. Come on, Tangaro, Mikere. Franz, longer stances. Big, big, big. That's better. Aaron Longer.
That's it. And bottle. Now the left side, four direction block, left side. Ready. Let's hold. Pull right back to your hip, Jax. Pull your hand right back to your hip. Come on, muddle. Shot. Good. Okay. Now, Julian, you're being added to the mix. Jax, you're still on camera. Chonji tool. White belts who don't know Chonji, I want you to do four direction block both sides. Four direction block. Everyone else, Chonji. Chibi. Montevisha, show me you're ready. You should be standing still until I say start. No bouncing around. Stand still, France. In your ready position, where should your hands be? Stop. Come on, battle. Good stuff. Okay. Now, Mason, this is new for you. Uh, you did really well copying, but you mirrored it. So hold up your left hand for me, Mason. Okay, so I'll show you the first eight movements and I want you to practice the first eight, okay? Your left hand, the left foot sticks out to the left for the first movement. That's number one, go, show me number one, that's it. Make sure you've got a good walking stance with both feet facing straight ahead, that's it. Now step forward and punch. Now follow your right hand all the way around and do a low block. That's it, check that walking stance. And now punch. So you went left, then forward, then turned around and then forward. Now you're gonna go left again. So you're gonna move that front foot and step towards me. Go. That's it, forward. Follow your front hand all the way around. Check the walking stance, shoulder width wide. And forward and punch. That's it, that's the first eight movements. Left, forward, turn around, forward. Left, forward, turn around, forward. So I want you just to practice those first eight movements, but when you're doing them, I want you to check that you're leaving yourself enough room for your hips. So from here at the moment, you're kind of stepping like this, a bit narrow with the back foot sideways. I've got to turn and make a strong walking stance and then step forward for a nice long walking stance. And then when I turn, make the space for my walking stance when I turn. So from here, one, two, nice walking stance. And then forward and punch. Okay, same thing when I turn left, walking stance. Okay, so we do those eight movements, practicing your walking stance. You can do those a couple of times. Yellow belts and above, you're now doing dangun. So let's put on camera. Tavisha, you're on camera. And Franz, you're on camera. So can I go and get my charger? You can go and get your charger, yes. Okay, and Toby, I've got you on spotlight as well. So Toby, Tavisha, and Franz, you're up. Oh, Aaron. Oh, how did I how did I miss Aaron? Oh, and man, look at all our yellow belts. Whoa, this is awesome. Aaron, I've got all my yellow belts and above on. Oh, Toby, I might take you. Yes, yes, Manon. Um, 
I'm still not quite sure um, how to do dangling. Okay, that's understandable. I'll give you, I'll tell you what you're doing as you do it. Will that help? Okay. Because yes. you're learning it. I know you've got the movements in your brain. You just got to get them figured out, right? So remember, you go left first for your knife hand guarding block. Okay, so everyone ready for dangun? I'm going to tell you, and you'll see the other guys do it as well. Dangun to chubi. Remember your first move. Now, yellow stripes do chonji, or what you know of it. And yellow uh, white belts do four direction punch both sides. So, uh, in fact, actually, Madden, I'll put myself on camera as well so that I can do it too. Okay. Dangunto, chubi. First movement, step left, darling off. Chi, jok. Then we step forward and punch. Then step all the way around and do your knife hand guarding block the other way. And forward and punch. Step your left foot to the left and do your forearm low block. Three high punches. One, two, I need more space. Three. Now leave my front foot where it is, pivot around there and do my sang po makmaki. And punch. And follow my front hand all the way around again, do it the other direction. That's it, and punch. Now the left foot's gonna go left, back towards where we started. Low block and rising block. Continue with the left hand. One and two, good. Now three rising blocks moving forward. One, two, three. Okay, now we'll leave the front foot where it is, pivot around it, and do knife inside strike and else start. Uh, yeah. Other way, Manon, come back to the rising block with your right foot forward. Leave your right, you leave your front foot where it is. So forward and two around it. That's it. Left hand strike. Good. And now high punch. And follow your right hand around and do it with your right hand on the other side. Strike and punch. Done. And bring the front leg all the way back. Bottle. Everyone, bottle. Aaron, a bit longer in your stances. Okay, so good, man. And the only one that you got mixed up on was that turn after your last rising block. So. Everyone repeat the same pattern. Did you have any questions, Madden? No, sir. Okay, cool. Let's see how you go. The other guys will be on as well. You can slow down a little bit if it helps. Dangun till again. Everybody else, your own pattern, as we said. Toby, you can do Dangun again this time so I can watch. Aaron, make sure your stance is a bit longer. Tavisha, don't, you don't look ready. Okay. Dangun to be. She jump. That's it, Madden. Now punch. Now go the other direction and punch. Now one and two. And go. Four two. And that's it, Madden. Good. So Julian, just one little technical thing for you. When you finish your pattern, you don't use the word tool. You just call out Chonji, the name of the pattern. Okay, tool means pattern. So we don't say that, but we, it is chonji to, and at the end of the pattern, we just call out chonji. Tavisha, remember this is a high punch, okay? It's eye level. And go on, battle. Okay, now everybody doing their own pattern, their own pattern. Toby, you're gonna be front and center. France, battle. Okay, so everyone doing their own pattern. I'm going to be looking at Toby. To be. She jump. Mm -hmm. 
Come on, battle. Shot. Okay. Toby, I've got a couple of things for you. I'm just going to step through the pattern and give you a little bit of feedback as I go, okay? So just watch carefully. First up, movement three. And the same at the other side. When I do my second high block, it crosses on top. Okay, when you block with your right hand, both times your hand was underneath. Make sure your right hand goes on top when you block with your right hand, okay? Here was pretty good. Now with your straight fingertip thrust with this movement, make sure you're thrusting to the center. Yours was out to the side, okay? Make sure it's out to the middle. Movements one and three, here and here, these are blocks. So it crosses on top. You see the angle of my arm and my outer forearm is facing outwards. After I do this release, this is a back fist strike, okay? So it crosses underneath where the block crosses on top, but I need to have my arm a little bit more vertical. I can't strike like this because I can't hit anything with my back fist. It has to be up a little bit more so that I can hit with these two knuckles and make sure you cross under. I think the second one you crossed on top, excellent. Okay, and then from here again, one, two, cross on top, three, four. Okay, so from here on top. Now from here, this is a slight angle on the step. We went straight down for the first one. It's a slight angle. So from here, good. Middle kick, two punches a little bit faster. It's a bit more urgent. I'm going kick, punch, punch. As soon as I land for my first one, I come straight up and punch my second one. It doesn't have a downward motion between. Okay, there's no down in the, in the fast motion side way. Punch, up, punch. And then the other side, middle kick, punch, up, punch. Then from here, your front foot just goes around to the, to the main line to do your trick mapping. You step forward here and use the wrong leg. So from here, Wait, 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 this way, cross and block, front hand moves, a front foot moves. And then again, and now my front foot stays where it is and I pivot around it to do my knife hand side shot, okay? So a couple of things for you, make sure your forearm high block crosses on top, particularly when you block with your right hand. Make sure you thrust to the center line, not off to the side. When you do your back fist, make sure you cross underneath and make sure your arms a bit more straight up and down rather than angled like this. Uh, for your first wedging block, make sure you've got a little bit of an angle. When you do the two punches, one, two, nice and fast. Plant your heel, come up, and then punch again. Then after the second one, it's your front foot that moves to make chukyumaki. So left hand first, then right hand. Good. Okay, good work, Toby. Oh, they can hear you. Okay, everybody, grab a mouthful of water. Then we're gonna go. To I wasn't so thirsty. Okay. I wasn't thirsty. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't need to hear you talking, Mikaela. Leave your microphone off and focus on the class. Okay, now we're gonna go through some step sparring. I'm gonna go through quickly the yeah, yellow stripe and yellow about three step sparring. I think you all know that fairly well. So I'm only gonna go through that once. Then I'm gonna work with Toby on his one way three step sparring, okay? So you guys can practice your, your three step sparring while I show Toby through his. Toby, do you know your three step sparring? My sister's been working on it with me. 
Oh, awesome. Fantastic. Okay, so I'll help you through some of that. We'll do the, the one-way stuff, but not the two-way stuff tonight. Okay, everybody ready? Give yourselves a little bit of space for your three steps forward. Toby, if you know your one-way three steps firing, you can do that instead of what I'm doing with the, the juniors, okay? Walk through the junior stuff first. Ready? Parallel ready, a parallel ready stance. Right foot back. Pull. For a four fist middle punch. Forward one, two, three. And sit back, but all. Bigger stances, Mason. And now, hop. Right leg back. Yeah. Middle block. One, two, three. Flat fingers at thrust. Pull. Oh. Forward butt all. That's number one. Oh. Number two, we do a high punch. Pull. Oh. Back into your low back. Oh. You ready? High punch. Hold up. Two. Set. Step back, but all. Pull. Oh. And when we step back, we cross on top and do a knife hand side block at eye level. One. Two. Three. And remember now, with my back foot, I'm stepping across onto an angle and I'm swinging in to do my reverse knife hand front strike. Pull. Noise counter ah. up with your counter attack. And step back, but all. That's number two. Number three, forearm low block. Pull. Ah. Low front snap kick, tummy button height is low. Pull. Ah. And then sine wave, walking ready starts. Do. Ah. If you got long, strong stances, set. And step back, but all. Pull. Ah. Up. In with your forearm low block. One, two, three. Right leg, then left leg, then right leg. So now my front foot's going to move to an L stance. Up. And but all. Okay, juniors, you practice that. Number one, number two, number three. If you can only remember one of them, do number one and repeat that. So white belts, that's fine. Yellow stripes, yellow belts, I expect you to level three. Toby, we're together now. Remember our ready position is for three steps, always walking ready starts. Oh, sorry, walking, uh, walking starts for a low block. Right leg back. Pull. Ah. We're going to punch an L starts, Toby. One. Two. Three. And step back, but all. So that punch came in our stance, and we've got to defend in our stance. And instead of stepping outside, inside, outside, which we do for walking stance, when we step forward, we've got to reverse it. We step inside, then outside, then inside. Because an L stance is narrow. A walking stance is wider, so you're outside, inside, outside. And our stance is narrower, so you go inside, outside, inside. Okay. Step back in a forearm middle block and L stance. Pull. Ah. Right leg back, Toby. Right leg back first. Pull. Set. And now use your front leg, side front snap kick. Pull. Ah. Finish with your forearm guarding block. That's it. In your L stance. Looking good. Ah. And bottle. Okay, now number two. Pull. Same attack. Uh, L stance side punch. One. Two. Make sure you're half facing for the L stance punch. That's it. Three. Good. And sit back, but all. Uh, this time we defend with a knife and guarding block. Pull. Uh, Pull. Pull. Set. Now move that front foot out to the side a little bit and do your turning kick with your right leg. Go. Or I'm going off. Good. And then step back to where you were. Ha. Good. Okay, right leg back. Ha. This time we attack with L stance, knife and side strike. Come on. Ha. 
Just watch that you're half facing. Two. Set. Cross and pull both hands. Make sure you pull the other hand out. Good, good, good boy. And step back, butt off. Now this cross, a block does not cross. I reach out with my right hand, step back and block a stone. Reach your right hand straight ahead. Right foot back first, Toby. You got the right block, but you're using the wrong leg. Change hands now. Yeah, left hand first. Come back to the ready position. Extend your right hand out, your left hand up, and block in with the left hand. Yeah, that's it. Change feet. Change feet, change feet. Yeah, try again once more. Right leg back, left hand blocks. Go. Yes. Now you're blocking with your outer forearm, so you've got to turn your palm towards you. That's correct. Very good. And two. Set. Now lift your front leg off the ground and do a really strong yop chagi with a nice guard. Pull. And then your forearm going up. Make sure you pivot that supporting foot, Toby. That supporting foot points away from your kick. Pivot. That's it. Lift it up. Lift it up. And sit forward. But all. That's better. Good. Okay. Let's do all three of those once more, Toby. Ready. Pull. Up. Side punch and L-signs. One. Two. Three. Step back. Pull. Up. L-signs in a four middle block. Pull up. Two. Set. Side front snap kick with the front leg. Up. 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 Model. Number two. Step forward at the end there, Toby. After you kick. Up. And pull. Up. Out side punch. One. Two. Up. Three. The back butt all. Okay, knife hand guarding block. Pull. One. Two. Three. Step your left foot towards the camera. Pull. That's it. You're opening up the target by changing the angle. And then step back to where you were. Good stuff. Number three, knife hand side strike. One, two, three. Step back, but all. Pull. Right leg back, blocking with your left hand. One. So you're blocking that knife hand side strike. Check that you're half facing. Don't be full fight. There we go. Good stuff. Two. Set. Make sure you pivot that back foot so you do a nice strong yop charge. That's it. Lift it up a little bit. Try and get above your belt. Above your belt. There we go. That's better. And bottle. Good work, Toby. Everyone, come on. Grab a little drink of water. So I'm not thirsty. I expect all of you, fine, Julian. I expect all of you to be confident with your step sparring, okay? To know those sequences. So yellow stripes and yellow belts, you've got your three with walking stance punches and with the front snap kick. And Toby, we've just been through ours with L stance attacks and defending with the front leg with the kicks. Okay, good stuff. Now. <laughs> A little brief point about self-defense. Remember, the key thing that we're focused on with self-defense is about keeping safe. That's the most important thing. So asking adults for help is, as much as you need to, that's super important, okay? So anybody being mean to you at school, get out of the situation, then talk to the teacher, talk to your parents. If it's your sibling, your brother or your sister being mean to you, same thing, back off, leave me alone, then go and ask your parent for help. We don't get kicking and punching people. It just gets us into trouble. 
Okay, now if we really need it in a serious situation, we have our taekwondo for that. Most of the stuff that you're going to encounter at your age will just be people being mean when you back off, leave me alone, and then you talk to your parents, okay? You never want to have your parents surprised with a phone call from the principal saying you got into a fight, okay? That's a bad scenario. So just a quick quiz before we go. Make sure your microphone is muted. Raise your hand if you know your parents' contact telephone numbers. Your mum and dad's mobile phone number. If you do not know mum and dad's mobile phone number, learn it. Very, very important. One of the best things you can do for safety is being able to call mum and dad if you get stuck. Raise your hand if you know the address of where you live, your street, your number, and your suburb. Good. You should all know that as well. That's very important. Your name, your address, your phone number. Cool. Okay, you should all know that. Raise your hand if you know mum and dad's names. Cool. You should know mum and dad's names as well. Not just mum and dad. You call them mum and dad or something, mama, papa, something like that. But they have names too. You've got to know those. So those four pieces of information are absolutely essential that you know. So if you need to ask for help, needed, you can ask for help. Okay. Now, hopefully you've got your partner arranged, mum or dad or a a big sibling who can come and do some releasing techniques with you. Over the last couple of sessions, we've done same side releases. We've done cross release from the low grabs and we've also done same side and cross grabs from high grabs. So same side this way or cross grab this way. Remember the key principle is the way that you release from techniques is with two things. One is technique and two is power from your entire body. Do not try and do it just with your arm. So what I want to see now is I want to see mum or dad or whoever your partner is going to be, come up and grab you, same side grab, cross grab, and straight away release. As soon as you get grabbed, you release. And then back off, leave me alone. Let's see it. Go. Same side grab. Don't be cross grab, reach over the top. Back <laughs> off, leave me alone. High same side grab. I drop and put my oh. palm down. I palm up towards the ceiling. Back off, leave me alone. Get my whole body into the release. This way. Oh, very good. Cross grab. Same thing, but this time I go palm down when I release. So you're watching him? Back Push off, leave me alone. Push it. Okay. Same side grab. Grab my hand, step back, use my whole body. Back off, leave me alone. Cross grab, the only difference is to make sure you go over the top of the arm. Over the arm. Back off, leave me alone. High grab from the same side. I put my hand on my own yeah. hand and drop that right down onto my part, my opponent's no. thumb. You get, where's my thumb? You've got to go wherever my thumb is. Where's my thumb? This yeah. way. Can you go like that? Palm ceiling. If it's a cross grab, if they're coming across my body, very similar, but I go down. Put your hands up. Back off. Always dropping into a strong stance and using your whole body. Always. All of your body <laughs> onto that hand. Am I going to keep skipping? That's what your stance does. Okay, so that's four of your grabs. Keep going. Toby, if you're comfortable with the two hand grabs, you do those as well. So two hands to two hands, you just release one hand at a time using your whole body the same way. Same for the high grabs. One and two. And then step back, back off. Two hands to one hand is a little bit different. Okay, when someone grabs two hands on your one hand, that's a bit trickier. Remember for that one, you grab your own hand, put your elbow against your body, move forward and drive up towards the head. So you'll get them in this position. Oh, that's uncomfortable. Okay. Two hands from the hand up. That's just the same as it was before. Here, drop down with all your body weight on the hand. And they are all the grabs for white belts and yellow belts. So two hands like that, Tavisha. You just release one. Imagine it's two one-hand grabs. 
Just focus on one, release one first, and then release the other one. Using the same, that's it. You just like that, Tavisha. One hand and then the other one. Oh, Aaron's mum's getting tricky and doing two crossing grabs. That's tricky. Why? <laughs> so is Tavisha's mum doing that now? Okay, now pause for a moment. Remember, these grabs might not only be to the wrist, they can be anywhere up the arm. And what's very important is which of those grabs is it most similar to? Is it similar to when the hand is down with a thumb you can see here? Or have they come and grabbed you this way where your thumb's on the other side? That's actually the same as one of these grabs. So if someone comes beside you and grabs your hand down this way, that's actually the same as a grab with the hand up. And so the best thing you can do there is lift your hand up and then do the release, okay? So think about what grab it's similar to. If they grab you up by the biceps, doesn't matter. Exactly the same. Grab your hand, release out. Exactly the same as it was a wrist grab. Okay. So think about where is the thumb? Good, Toby. Good. I'm seeing some really good power. Good power, Julian. Good use of your stances. That's good. Hands straight up. Good. How you going there, Aaron? Grab one. Now, Aaron, don't try and release both at the same time. That's it. Remember, Aaron, grab your own hand as if it's one hand being grabbed and wrench out of that. Then grab the other hand and reach out of it. Two single grabs. Okay, cool. And come on. Pause for a moment. Now, one of the key things we want to keep in mind with releases is defense. What's going to happen next? If someone grabs one hand like this, I might have to think that they might want to punch me with the other hand. Okay? So while I'm using two hands for my release, I've still got to think that a punch might come. So as soon as they grab me, I might get my hand up and then grab my hand, release, and then step back and get my hands up again. If someone's grabbing two hands like this, it's not a good idea to release them both at the same time. Because when you do that, chances are you'll throw your head forward and they might throw their head forward as well and you get a head back. So don't do it. Do one hand release, then the other hand release. Always release one hand at a time. The other thing is if they've got a very, very strong grip, there are some little tricks to make them think of something else just for a split second. And it can be little stuff like touching them with your foot. So a little kick in the shins or something, or a little stand on the foot, or maybe you can just look over behind them. Oh, bird. Oh, and then straight away, just enough to get them very quickly thinking or briefly thinking about something else. And while they're thinking about something else, you have to immediately release. So it's no good if I go kick, and then release because I've already got time to think about the hands again. It's little kick, release straight away. Okay, just for that split second, the grip can loose, loosen off a little bit. And that's the split second you release. Go, try a few more. Release, release. As you get better at it, mum and dad can grab you tighter. And then ultimately, you want to be so good at this that it doesn't matter how hard mum and dad grab you, you can still release. And that means you've got it to a, an extent where you can keep yourself safe. Okay? So you've got to use your whole body. You're smaller than normal. Body. You can't rely on your strength to do this. You have to use technique and your whole body. That way you go. A couple more. Just what Mason's mum, here's a little technical bit for you. Just watch out for this one, because when you do this, you're actually striking with your triceps and it's soft and squishy and doesn't do much at all. To make that work, you've actually got to extend your hand forward and then you're striking with the bone. That'll make it effective. It's more cognizant. So in our self, we often, we're pretty careful about using this when we're doing high level self-defense that you'll need to do in class. 
because quite often people will under stress do it like this and they'll just be slapping them on the back with their elbow with their um, triceps it's quite something you have to think about to extend that arm forward and get them with the bone yeah feel the difference cool okay oh yeah okay and that's guys face mum or dad or whoever's helping you kill me and you shake hands say thank you very much I don't know about that yet. We shake hands in Taekwondo. It's the senior person that might choose to shake hands, not the junior person. Okay, it's a, it's a matter of courtesy. So, and mum or dad are always your senior. Doesn't matter what grade you are in Taekwondo or what grade they are, they're always your senior. So they might say, "Oh, then it's good work like this," but we show our courtesy by bowing. So this is enough. Kill me. And then when in class, when we want to be friendly and say, "Oh, that was really cool. Thank you," that's when we shake hands. Okay, good work. Thanks, guys. Now let's just do a quick stretch off. Reach up to the sky. Don't put any grubby fingerprints on the ceiling. No grubby fingerprints. And hang down to the ground. And then open your legs out nice and wide. Make a wish, because that way, if you slip and you hear a snapping sound, at least you might your wish might come true. But try not to slip. That's bad. Just change your angle a little bit. Try and walk your hands back a little bit. And then maybe try and walk your hands forward a little bit. And then come back to the middle and see whether you can go a little bit lower. Slowly walk your feet in, standing up, left leg behind. Oh, Julian, you got something else cool that you found in the book. Tell us, what have you found? I found the Chonji movement. You found, oh, you found that, was it the backward step turn that you're looking at there? Yes, like this. Yeah, nice. So Julian's holding up for us. Just change legs, and in a moment, Julian, I'll get you to hold that up to the camera, and I'll put you on camera so I can see. In the white belt handbook that Julian's got, some of you have got this handbook. It's got pictures of the movements from that you're required to learn and how they work. And he's just found the page with the backward step two from John G, which is really, really useful. One of my many projects is to try to write a book like that for yellow belts. Uh, it's just a very big piece of work. It took Master McFarlane and I a little over a year to write that book. And we haven't made much progress on the Yellow Belt book yet. The idea is that we have a book like that for each grade. And shot, relax. Uh, Julian, just come up and I'll put you on camera. I've just got to follow. There you are. There you are. Bring that book up, young man. So Julian, you bring your book up. Bring your book. Julian's been spending a lot of time reading through this book. So he's finding a whole lot of cool stuff to show us. Come a little bit closer, Julian. Come close, close, close. There we go. So this page here is about how to do the backward step turn in Chonji and different types of turning. Okay, I think what you might have there is the spot turn there, Julian. I think the backward step turn might be on the next page. So it's got, as you can see, cool pictures with the foot diagrams and photographs of the person doing it. Uh, what do we got there? Oh, I can't quite read it. Okay, but what I can show you guys, uh, if you just give me one moment to go to, I can open that up. I'm lucky because I wrote that book. I've got it, the digital version of it. Uh, oh, wrong place. It's in my projects. Excuse me for just a second. What page are you on there, Julian? 63 and 62. 63 and 62. Okay. So this should cover it. I think this is the final version. Okay. So I'm just going to share my screen, Julian, so everyone can see it and read it. Okay. So here we go. 
And Julian City was on page 62 and 63. Uh, uh, get out of the way. Here we go. Aha. Uh -huh. So that's spot turning, Julian, on page 62 and 63. The step turn, the one that you're looking at for Chon G, is on page 64 and 65. So you can see here the diagram of how to do that turn. Down the bottom of the page here, you can see how the feet work. This is a forward step turn. And then on page 66 and 67, this is the backward step turn, which is what you do in Chonji. Okay, this is backward step turn clockwise and counterclockwise. So all good pictures about how to do these things are in this book. So the various types of turning, yellow stripes, take note of this because you've got to learn all of these turning turns. There's spot turn, pivoting on the front foot or the rear foot, or spot turn, stepping the front foot or the rear foot onto the center line, which is what this one here is. Okay, there's spot turning pivoting. And then we've got step turning forward and step turning backward. Okay, so these books are available. If you've got the kids book and you're getting a little bit better with your reading and you look at this, this stuff and go, yeah, that's really cool. I want a copy. Then talk to mum and dad and we can see whether you can get you a copy of this book. It's got a lot more detail than the children's one has. Okay, thanks everybody. Let's just for Place the spotlight here. Everyone on your feet. Make sure you're practicing through the stuff we've been doing, working through your fundamental movements. As I say, in a few weeks, we're going to have a grading, and a couple of you are well due for a grading. Aaron, I think you're due for a grading. Toby, you must be due for a grading. So make sure you're working hard on that stuff. Ta-da! Kyonga! Tagoa! Hasa! Thanks, everyone. Good night. See you tomorrow at five. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Bye.